Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to BMW E90 HQ. I'm really sorry I haven't been getting videos out like I want to. I've been filming some videos of what I've been doing with the car and uh, I'll get them out. Um, really, it's I've just been chasing down a, a boost leak and uh, it, was, it was incredibly obvious when I, uh, I finally figured it out, but um, well, I'm not even in 100 for actually I say that but I'm not even a hundred percent sure what Entirely all my issues were so I think that uh, I didn't tighten down the meth bungs on my VRSF charge pipe enough And I had to remove the charge pipe tighten them down uh, Make sure that the throttle body connection was good, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it in fact was and that wasn't the issue also uh, when I went to go and inspect what was going on down there uh, I found that one of my diverter valves had just blown completely off of the connection to the inlet. So I was getting like unfiltered, unmetered air. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, I guess this car doesn't really have a mass airflow sensor, but you know, unfiltered air through the, um, through the inlet on the, the rear inlet. Uh, the diverter valve just wasn't connecting and uh, was venting to atmosphere. So I don't know if that could have caused any issues. I mean, I, I guess that would be similar to running with a blow-off valve, but only on one side. Um, anyway, after I put everything back together, uh, it seemed to be good. Still a little sluggish for my liking. Uh, I did tune the car. So, so there's more. Let me. There's a lot of stuff, so you just bear with me here. Um, I tuned the car to MHD Stage 1. And uh, it was pretty good, you know, I was, I was happy with it. Uh, it was not quite what I was expecting, but it was still good. And then I got the intercooler and I went to uh, uh, stage one plus. So, oh yeah, I got an intercooler and I will post a video on that. So, um, you know, we can check, check that out. When I do post that video, I'll go ahead and uh, try to remember to card that here. So, um, where are going? Okay, so I went to stage one plus and uh, it, was, it was even better. Uh, I tested it out on some country roads, uh, doing poles and stuff, and I could definitely feel a massive improvement over just the stage one regular tune. And for those of you who don't know, when you like buy stage one, you get all the stage one tunes. So stage one plus, uh, if they ha I think they have ethanol maps for stage one on the, the beta files. Anyway, so I, but when in daily driving, I did was very unhappy with MHD Stage One Plus, like, and um, like I was I was just very surprised at that. Anyway, so I got to the forums, got to reading, and I saw some forums where some people said they liked version six better, and uh, then I was like, well, they've got these beta files out there. I really wouldn't want to go backwards on the version um, unless it really is better. But uh, I started reading about the, the betas, and there's not a whole lot out there. I, I read some people that were running stage two on the betas, and they seemed to like it better. So I went out to my car, and I flashed uh, the beta map for stage one plus, the version eight beta, and all my issues went away. I mean, it was all the tune. I, I don't like MHD stage one 7.1. I mean, it's, it's great for pulls. It, you definitely get more power, but I think that like, as far as daily driving and commuting to work, it's awful. I mean, maybe not awful. Okay, that's way too harsh. Uh, but it's it's not a great it's not a great traffic tune. But they fixed that with uh, eight, so I hope they keep that the same. And when they make it final, uh, they don't you know get rid of that or anything. Uh, it was raining last night, so I wasn't able to really do any pulls and you know get like good hard data on pulls. But I did have the uh, Android hooked up to the car and I mean my boost looked like it was meeting target much faster than it was on 7.1 I mean I just and that was just in normal driving when I just got in the car right before I started filming this leaving work I mean I would just just accelerating to like 3,000 rpm and I'm in, in downtown Charlotte and I'm like just giggling like I'm like this is so much better this is what I expected when I flashed it the first time and uh, I'm, I'm super happy with it now. I mean, you can just tell, I'm sure you can tell from my face that I'm just like giggling. Like, it's, it's like, you know, the, the M54 is supposed to be a torquey motor and I wasn't getting good torque out of it unless I was go using a lot more throttle than is possible to use in, uh, a in a traffic kind of situation. Now I know that like, you know, you don't need a bunch of power in traffic and I don't want a bunch of power where I'm gonna like, you know, jet into the car in front of me, but 
I, I don't want it to feel like it's lazy either. And I, I'm really happy with it now. So um, anyway, so I'm just yeah, kind of trying to update. Uh, I installed the intercooler. I uh, installed the charge. No, I think I already have the video for the charge pipe out. So, I, but I have a charge pipe. I have the intercooler. Uh, I am running uh, beta stage one plus on MHD, and I really like it. I think it's a thousand times better than maybe not a thousand times better, but for for commuting purposes, it is so much better than uh, seven point one. And as far as doing pulls and stuff, I mean, I did some pulls just now before I started filming. I don't have the Android, so I can't, I can't data log anything or, or even see the gauges, but it feels exactly the same doing pulls or, or very similar anyway, maybe not exactly, but pretty close. And you know, guys, I'm just really happy with where I'm at now. Uh, also in this time, I've fixed my brakes so I have new rotors new pads uh, I used Zimmerman rotors they came zinc coated I got them from FCP Euro and FCP Euro also has a really detailed DIY on how to do it and I followed that when I did it so I didn't really think I'd make another video just copying theirs uh, but it's incredibly easy to change the brakes on these cars I mean it took me like two hours to do because I didn't know what I was doing. I had to go to the auto parts store and get a, a brake pad compressor. But even with a trip to AutoZone, even uh, not knowing what I was doing and doing it at a very lazy pace. Like, I mean, I'm very lazy pace, just kind of dragging and, you know, stopping for brakes every 15 minutes and whatnot. Uh, it took me two hours, so there's no reason that anyone can't do this. I'm going to be doing the brakes on our Cadillac, hopefully, if Hannah will let me. She seems to not want me to touch her car, but I don't know why. I did the spark plugs and it's been fine. Um, you know, I've messed with it a little bit. It's always been fine. So I don't know if she's just, you know, paranoid, but I, I'll, I'll get to doing it. Don't worry. If you guys, you know, for like the all 20 of you that are out there for the Cadillac, um, I will do that. Anyway, this car, um, I'm going to be doing downpipe soon, probably. I need an oil cooler, too. When I was doing pulls the other day, I saw my oil temps just getting really high really quick. So, um, I'm looking at maybe AR Designs oil cooler. Uh, if you guys have an oil cooler on your N54, please let me know what it is. Tell me, are you happy with it? Also on MHD, I did change the, uh, in the tune, you can change, like, individual settings, and I put the coolant to sport. And that does help with your oil temps when you're just kind of cruising and stuff like that. Uh, so instead of targeting a 212 degree or right around there, coolant temp, it targets about 198 to 200. And these, these temps are all Fahrenheit. Uh, see, see, this is just so much better. I mean, right now I'm in traffic. I can't go very fast and I'm still enjoying the car. Like when I, before I really felt like the car just felt like 328 in traffic. So if you got MHD and you're not thrilled with it, uh, try the beta files. I, I recommend them. Uh, don't come to me if they cause problems. They are beta files. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give an update of what is going on with this car. This video probably actually took a little longer than I intended it to do, but um, the car is, is great. I've just been really busy. Anyway, guys, please leave this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.